Hey guys, welcome to day two. Today I'm going to do an upper body programmed mobility session. Why I've put this in is because usually when we go to sleep, we kind of like hunch over and we curl up. So opening, using this in the morning will help to open up that chest before we start our day. And then at the end of the day, what we usually do, most of us in today's society, we, we're on computers all day, we're on our phones, and we're all hunched over and closed off. So doing this at the end of the day will, again, help open up that chest and open up your shoulders. So what I've grabbed is a band for today's workout. You can use anything at home if you've got a towel, if you've got a robe, anything like that will help. I've just got a band with me today, which is why I've used it. But yeah, we're just gonna use it for some of the exercises. So we're gonna spend a minute on each exercise and we're just gonna flow through continuously. I really hope that you guys enjoy this and let's go. <clears throat> so we're just gonna start off with some shoulder rolls. So raising shoulders all the way up and pulling all the way back. Nice and slow, don't rush through this. Kind of really work on opening up. Then we're just gonna go into some arm swings, reaching up and back. So you'll notice here, my shoulder mobility could do some work, which is why I'm doing this challenge. Then from here, we're just gonna go across the body. Really start to open up through that chest. I like to turn palms out there. You don't have to force anything here, just kind of flow through. feeling it. <laughs> cool, then we're just gonna kind of like go across the body. And open up through the shoulders. You could even add this little warm up in before your um, upper body workout, even like in the middle of your working day. 10 minutes of your time. I'm sure you guys can add this in multiple areas in your life.
after this, we're going to pick up the band. Look at your towel. I'm just going to go around the world. So grabbing as far as your mobility allows and kind of coming over and trying not to compromise through like bending through your arms. Try and keep your arms nice and straight. Cool, then going into some up and overs here. So again, if you can, you've got the mobility for it, bringing in your hands up a little bit tighter, it's gonna make it that little bit harder. And try and have your both shoulders move at the same time. So if you've got like a dominant shoulder, one might wanna you know, come over and compensate. So just gain conscious awareness around it. So what we're going to do is head down to the floor. We're going to stretch through our wrists. Now, I want you to bring one wrist forward. Cool. And I want you to do one at a time just to make sure that we're not favoring one over the other. So the aim is to try and get your palm flat, obviously to lean back and trying to get as much of a stretch as you can. So those who are on computers all day and typing all day, um, baristas, and pretty much anyone, we use our wrists so much more than we realize, but actually no one really stretches our wrists. So that's why I put it in here. Cool. So you'll find you'll find that one wrist is always worse than the other. And why I've done one at a time again is just to be safe. Um, just to protect the wrists. Cool, you can do little circles if you want. But I'm just gonna rest here because my wrists are really, really tight. Here, we're gonna lock hands. We're gonna reach up and then we're gonna reach to one side. So you'll feel this pull all through your lats there. And again, lock those elbows out. Don't bend, there's no point to doing this if you're gonna bend your arms. Lock them out.
other side. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that little upper body stretch session. Again, add it to the morning, nighttime before a workout. It'll be really, really beneficial for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Peace.